Hello, this is the ninth and last in our series of short videos demonstrating the key components of the care protocol used in the gastroschisis interventional study in Ghana, Zambia, Malawi and Tanzania. This video is focusing on recognising and managing discoloured bowel within the silo to prevent bowel necrosis. Why is this important? Bowel necrosis within the silo is one of our greatest concerns and complications that we want to avoid. It can be avoided if recognised and managed early. So first of all, what does discoloured bowel look like? Well, normal bowel is pink and well perfused within the silo throughout. If you have any discoloration, that could be a brown colour such as this, it can be a purple colour, a grey colour, any colour that's not pink suggests that the bowel is underperfused and it can be a single loop, it can be a, just the top of the bowel or a region of the bowel or it can be the entire bowel. So once you've recognised that, if you do something about it, it can become pink again and the baby can survive. If it's left for even a few hours, such as overnight, the bowel will continue to become necrotic, completely die, as shown in these images, and then it's very unlikely that the baby will be able to survive. This is irreversible. Whereas when you see the bowel discoloured like this, it's still reversible. So what can be causing this? Well, there's a number of things. Firstly, you want to check that the bowel in the silo is upright, positioned above the baby and tied directly above. If the bowel is flopped to one side or the other, it may be that the blood vessels into the silo are kinked and therefore the bowel becomes underperfused. The other thing that can happen is maybe the baby is sick. They may be underperfused, dehydrated, septic, and that could cause them to have a low blood pressure and low perfusion of the bowel. So make sure the bowel is strung up from above properly. Then do an A, B, C, D, E, full assessment of the baby and correct all of the abnormalities in the vital signs. They may need some oxygen, they may need a fluid bolus, 10 or 20 mils per kilogram to help perfuse the bowel. If those are undertaken and the bowel is still discoloured, you must act immediately to prevent moving on to that gangrenous stage. It may be that the bowel was twisted on application of the silo and that's one of the co commonest causes of necrosis in the bowel and you would see that within a few hours of silo application. That can be more commonly seen as mentioned in a previous video if the defect is particularly small and the ring had to be manipulated and twisted to get it in at the time of silo application. So one thing you can do if you're unsure if the bowel is discoloured is open the top of the silo, lift it down slightly and see whether the bowel looks pink or not. But normally the thing to say is if you think the bowel is discoloured, it probably is. With the mother's permission you can take a photograph of the bowel and send that to the surgical team if they're not immediately available. If they can't come within an hour, it's likely that they'll recommend for you to take off the silo. You just literally pull on the string and the ring will pop out. It's as simple as that. You don't need any training. You lift off the silo. Check that that bowel is not twisted. It may have been twisted in the silo, so lay it out properly. And then you can turn the baby onto their right hand side to help the blood flow into that bowel, make sure that you replace plastic over the bowel to prevent bowel damage, fluid and heat loss from that bowel.
and you can get a warmed saline pack, not hot but warm, to lie next to the bowel to help with the perfusion. And surgeons may even massage the mesentery of the bowel to help improve the perfusion. You can leave the baby like this until the bowel become pink again. And then hopefully by that time the surgeons will be able to arrive and you'll be able to ensure the baby's fully resuscitated, reapply the silo without any twisting of the bowel. Now if when you reapply the silo the discoloration returns, it may be that the defect is too small and the surgical team need to make a small incision to enlarge the size of that defect. Now one other thing is to have a poster on the wall that you can put up next to any baby with gastroschisis so the management of discoloured bowel is very clear to anyone even if there's a new staff member and really there needs to be a good handover particularly with the night team as that's the the time when there's fewest people around and greatest risk of the bowel becoming discoloured without anyone noticing.